Today is International Plant Day and it's a holiday where you get to celebrate plants. So plant lovers, listen up. It's Appreciation Day. Joining us is Mr. Michael French from Atkins Nursery. So could you tell us a little bit about what we have here? So on the table we have a porch hanging basket. It's going to be a full sun. It's going to be great for your butterflies, your hummingbirds. Their main thing they're going to love is the salvia in the middle or your verbena and lantana. They're going to love it. All your pollinators are going to thrive to this basket here. Okay, how much water does something like this need? Well, with the heat that we have, you're going to want to give it water at least every other day. Okay, I feel like with porch hanging plants specifically, you have to water them a little bit more often. Absolutely, just because they're exposed to the air, the wind, and the sunlight. So that's the main thing that's going to dry them out. All right, and Mr. French also has some tips for us. Mr. French, for beginning gardeners, this is the time to plant, right? Oh, absolutely. So your best times to plant spring from April, March, and May. And then actually the fall is also a great time to plant as okay. well. Because mm -hmm, you're giving that root system uh, time to establish without having to fight the brutal heat. Okay, and so for beginners, what's a good starter plant? For an interior house plant, I would go with something like this, a Sansevera or a ZZ plant. Mm -hmm. They're great interior plants. You can put them in any corner of the house. They're also incredible air purifiers, so they bring a lot of good health and energy into your room, and they're also good for your mental health. Okay, because a lot of my friends have given me succulents, and I cannot keep a succulent alive to save my life. Yes, so unfortunately, you're probably overwatering your Absolutely. succulent. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so with a succulent, you just want to leave it alone. Let it be, uh, maybe give it half a cup of water once a month. Okay, so here in Louisiana, the Arclitex, what's a great starter plant? Here in the Louisiana Arclitex, if you want to start a plant that goes outside, um, it'd be any shrub, any type okay. of Japanese yew or your boxwood. Those are your main, your main hardier shrubs that can handle your heat. And we've had these weird winters. They're more hardier and they can handle those as well. If you want your interior, like you said, it's going to be a succulent or <laughs> one of these Sansevieras or ZZ plants. Okay. Now, would you recommend a plant that needs watering every day, every other day, or a week? What would you recommend? I would recommend something that you would water once a week. You pick a watering day, that's your watering day. For me, it's Sunday, and I go around and I get all my plants together, and I just knock it all out, water them all together, and then put them back in their home. Okay. Now, for our mo more advanced gardeners, what's a fun plant that's going to come back every year that you try? Ooh, those are going to be any in our, our perennials. I love hostas. Hostas are a really good um, plant. It's going to die back in the winter, but it's going to sprout back in the summer. Pretty, really pretty green foliage, and it really fills up a garden bed really nicely. Okay, now I have marigolds. Are, I, uh -huh. I have a I have a balcony garden. Okay, so people who may not have in ground abilities, yeah. what would you recommend for a balcony garden? Balcony gardens, perfect. <laughs> Those, you have so many options. You could do a little herb garden. Mm -hmm. You could do a little veggie garden. Um, you could hang a little cherry tomato hanging basket. Um, you could use this. I would highly recommend you put out a um, pollinator hanging basket. That way you can enjoy the butterflies and hummingbirds. Okay. Now, what if you want to keep the mosquitoes away? What kind of plants help with that? Great question. <laughs> we have a wide range of mosquito preventers. Uh, your main one's going to be a citronella plant. Citronella does really well. Also, a lemongrass will favor that citronella as well to prevent mosquitoes from hanging around. Okay, one that I see often at the farmer's markets are like knockout rose bushes. Mm -hmm. Is that like a good starter plant as well? Knockouts are really great. Okay. Um, knockouts, they're full, they have beautiful blooms, yes. and they're drought tolerant. Okay, well, Michael, can you tell people how to get in touch with you? Absolutely. You can find us at 5901 East Kings Highway. We're right next to Drug Emporium. Or just give us a call. You can look us up on Google, Facebook. We're constantly posting, and we look forward to seeing you guys. Okay, well, thank you so much, Mr. French.